What's up everybody? Joel Hansen here. And today, we got mail. Thank you so much, Lynn. Really appreciate it. All the way from, I wanna say it's Tucking Mill, United Kingdom. So here we go with some United Kingdom snacks. We're gonna open this thing up, give it a taste, try some items from the United Kingdom. I'm always so excited to get these packages. I think it's so cool. Thank you to everybody for sending this. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, also one thing I'll mention. I love getting stuff from everybody and I don't want anything to get lost. There's been a couple times where somebody has misspelled my name and I'm kind of lucky that the people at the post office um, or some of the workers kind of now know that some people misspelled my name so I ended up getting them. But that being said, I would absolutely hate to not get a package because it got lost in the mail. Holy jump, let's look at this. It's even packed, it's even bubble wrap. Let's do this. Dear Joel, I hope you enjoy eating this selection as much as I do. I have included some Cornish Delights, the Trenis Trin chocolate, the fudge which is made using local Rada's clotted, clotted cream, and the fairings and shortbread. The items from Prima Bakeries on them are made where I work, including mince pies, which are traditionally eaten at Christmas, but we've started making them already. I like it. I've also really, I'm also really hoping I've chosen items that are not available where you live. All the best, Lynn. Thank you so much, Lynn, really appreciate it. And I've also added a couple of photos of Cornwall. They were taken by my brother and also my very best friend, Ross. Awesome, well this is freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Lynn, really appreciate this package. Um, you know what I should do? I'm gonna take these items, as I take the items out, I'm gonna try them. Hopefully that kind of speeds things up a little bit. Let's try it. All right, Walker's Sensations, Thai Sweet Chili. Ooh, oh wow. That's a great flavor. All right, so it's a potato chip. It's interesting, that Walker's label looks a lot like a Lay's label. Is Lay's rebranded in the United Kingdom? Anyway, I love the taste of this potato chip. The closest thing I've had to it in North America is something called a Vicky's, Miss Vicky's potato chip. There's like, like a sweet chili potato chip. Wow, it's so nice. It's like, kind of like a sour cream and onion, but Kind of tastes like a chili. It's not like spicy. That's delicious. Great choice, Lynn. All right, let's try a mince pie. A Prima Bakery's mince pie, which are baked with love from the heart of Cornwall. So it smells, it smells kind of fruity. Kind of like spice and fruity. Oh, wow. That's delicious. It's like raisins and stuff on the inside. Like it's like it's like kind of looks like a mushed raisins, and it's like spicy, like Christmas spices. Like it tastes like a fruit cake, like all spice ground cloves, Christmassy flavors. That's good. Yeah, delicious. Here we have Kinder Bueno. I love Kinder Buenos. This is one item you can get in North America, but I know like apparently all the Cadbury in the United Kingdom is different from the Cadbury in Canada. So I wonder if the Kinder is as well. Individually wrapped thingy thing. So a beautiful chocolate, chocolate item. Nice little crisp. And then Oh, it's so good. It's like a wafer. It's chocolate wafer with a hazelnut cream in it. Lovely flavor. I really like it. Mmm, Lynn, great choices. An original Cornish fairings crunched or spiced crunchy biscuits. Now this looks legit. This is like a legit UK thing right here. I can just tell. Like the term biscuit, it just reminds me of like United Kingdom. Ooh, they look like um, 
You look like molasses cookies, or like allspice cookies. But they're not cookies. They are biscuits. In fact, they are spiced, crunchy biscuits. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It smells like a it smells like a molasses cookie. Did you ever have like a molasses cookie? I think that's what it's called. Molasses or like a is it a spice cookie? Molasses cookie? Like molasses cookie. That's what it smells like. This is exactly what it tastes like. If you're in North America, you've had a molasses cookie. That's exactly it. A molasses cookie. Hmm. Definitely a buy. And coming from Cornwall, Cornish. A taste of Cornwall. This is right there. A taste of Cornwall. A taste of Cornwall. Damn, Cornwall tastes good. I like it. Cornish Clotted Cream Shortbread. So these are the one that Lynn was saying. They're made local. Using Clotted Cream. I'm not really sure what Clotted Cream is, but it's with chocolate pieces. So they kind of look like a mix between a shortbread and a chocolate chip cookie. Whoa, wasn't expecting that. Okay. So it kind of smells like shortbread. And it kind of smells like cheese. Like, like a, it kind of smells like if you're in Canada or like a lot of places, like the powder you get out of a macaroni and cheese container, like or the powder that comes in a box of macaroni and cheese, like Kraft Dinner. Let's try it. Let's try it. So this is a clotted cream shortbread with chocolate pieces. That smells like cheese. Okay. Mm. It's actually really, really good. It's like sugar, granulated sugar crystals on it. Wow. All right. That's excellent. Once I smelt it and it kind of smelled like cheese, I was a little unsure about what it would taste like. That's delicious. I'm not usually like the biggest, biggest shortbread person, but this is delicious. This is light and buttery and I definitely believe it. In fact, the second ingredient is butter. And that was damn good. Mmm. That was really, really nice. I really like that one. So the way I describe it is it's kind of like a shortbread, like what I would be familiar with a North American shortbread, except it's even softer. Kind of more like, uh, yeah, just a softer, even softer shortbread. Kind of like shortbread, but softer, more buttery. The chocolate just added an extra little bit of sweetness. That was great. Here we have a Yorkie. Oh, okay, I've heard of these, I've never had one. It says a York, it's called a Yorkie Raisin and Biscuit. Let's try it. What does it describe it? It says chunky milk chocolate with raisins and biscuits. Hell yeah. I actually really like chocolate covered raisins. I mean, I can see what look like little crispy pieces on the bottom. Little crispy pieces. And there's a raisin and crispy pieces. Let's try it. And of course it's awesome. Because how can you go wrong with chocolate? Mmm. Mmm. And chocolate covered raisins. Love it. I like it. I can't actually really think of many North American chocolate bars that have raisins in them. Generally, like, you can buy the chocolate covered raisins, like, Kind of like the gloss sets. But it tastes like milk chocolate with raisins in it, which is excellent. Simplicity at its best. Right like that. All right, what else we got? There's a lot more items than I anticipated. I didn't think there'd be that many items. Here we have some 
Maynard's Bassets, Jelly Babies. Dope. It was funny, so I recently watched the movie Johnny English Strikes, Strikes Back. So it's like the second Johnny English. Johnny English is like a spy movie with the with Mr. Bean, if you guys are familiar with Mr. Bean, the same actor. And they had jelly babies in it that made your head blow up. So jelly babies are definitely a thing in the UK. Beautiful, let's try them. Woo, wow, these smell so damn good. Like super fruity. Man, these smell freaking awesome. All right. So they look like little powdered gummy babies. I didn't think it'd be powdered. This is a red one. Whoa, what? All right, that was interesting. I'm gonna try to describe this. So again, here's a green one. I like little baby. Okay, but the weirdest thing is, it's like, look, I gotta like, just see if I can focus. I'll try to describe this. Look how soft this is. Like, it's really soft. Like, I'm used to gummies being like, choo choo choo. Oh, wait. Maybe there's a, is it, oh, wait, there's a jelly in it. That's why it's so soft. See, there's an outer layer. In the darker, that's the jelly. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's like a super soft, duh, imagine that, Joel, but jelly gummy baby. Wow. I had no clue what this would be like. I just can't get over how soft it is. Like. I wouldn't even call it a gummy. It really is a jelly, not a gummy. Wow, that's so cool. It's just like a little cracker, little holes in it. it smells like cheese crackers. Let's try it. Actually, I kind of like this. It's um, if you're in North America, you've ever had goldfish. Like the, there might be at the other place too. But the goldfish, the snack that smiles back. They're like cheddar flavored crackers. It tastes like that, which I don't really mind that much. I don't like real cheese though. Prima Bakery Bakewell Flapjack. There we go. And it's called a Cherry Bakewell Flapjack. Okay, so these are all made where Lynn works. And this is a raspberry crumble. So these are like squares. Hell right. Okay. And then these are the Ross Killies fudge that she was, uh, that she was talking about made with the cream, which also look super delicious. Damn. All right. Gotta try them. Let's gotta try them all. Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's try a Prima Bakery's raspberry crumble. Oh wow. Okay. So it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Focus. Come on. So it's like a bottom cookie layer, a top layer, which is more cookie, crumbly, and sweetie, and then a, ra a raspberry jelly layer in the middle. Okay, there's a really, really nice, it's really nice taste, just very warm, Christmassy, season, like perfect dessert. And it's surprisingly not that sweet. I thought it was gonna be very, very sweet, but it's surprisingly not that sweet. It's good though. Like, way too easily eat that whole thing. And then like three more. Cherry Bakewell Flapjack. I mean, this just looks again like a, it's like an icing on top. And there's like a brown looking delicious square thingy thing. So this one's really heavy and moist. But, look at that. Look at that beautiful, excuse me, look at the beautiful action. It's like granola, oat layer, icing. My mother makes something she calls a uh, Hawaiian bar, and it's also cherry flavored with kind of a layer like this. So. Oh, man. 
Oh man, that is hella good and definitely not calorie free. Although this one then is much sweeter. Let's try some fudge. This is a praline fudge. And this one is a clotted cream fudge. So clotted cream, I'm assuming is a UK thing. Cause I've never heard of it before. Oh man. Oh, smells, no, this one smells like, still kind of like that. I can get the resemblance from the shortbread cookie, but this smells like a, uh, just like a caramel, like a caramel fudge. It smells like those um, little caramels you can get in like plastic wrappers, um, little square caramels that come in a clear plastic wrap in North America. Tastes great. It does really, it, you know, it definitely has that same taste. So that clotted cream is definitely like a unique item. Which it taste. It definitely tastes like the cookies in a way. But now that I'm getting accustomed to it, that's damn good. Mm. Wow. I love the taste of that caramelly, apparently clotted cream. Wow, that's great. The praline fudge, which I love pralines. I love. I, like I said, I love everything pretty much. There's very few items on earth I don't like, and you know them quite well. All right, praline fudge. Oh, my gosh. Delicious. Mm. Okay, so it's very sweet, but it doesn't taste like sugar, if that makes sense. The other clotted cream on kind of tastes just like sugar, like caramelly. This is very sweet, but there's little specks of like nuts or something in it, like the pralines, I guess. And that kind of, I don't use the term dulls, but it kind of levels out the sweetness. Mm. That's also really nice. All these things, I could just eat way too many of them. Here we have a Trenance chocolate. So these are the ones that Lynn was talking about in the note. Trenance. There's one here too. Tren, I'm assuming, Trenance? I'm assuming, I think I said it right, Trenance. So we've got a milk, plain chocolate, a plain chocolate bar, and a milk chocolate bar. So apparently what I would call dark chocolate is plain in the UK, in Trenance. Let's try it. Um, I'll start with the plain chocolate bar. That smells perfect. Yeah, this is a really, this looks like a, it smells like a really nice level of dark. Like, uh, I don't know, 60, 70%. Perfect. So definitely just like a dark chocolate bar, but this is a very strong, I'm gonna say like really deep, deep chocolate cocoa flavor. Like a lot deeper than I thought. Wow. I've never had a chocolate bar taste like that. Wow. Okay, so if I'm used to like a dark chocolate bar, you like taste it, you're like there's your dark chocolate flavor and it kind of goes away. This one, you taste it, you eat it, you have your dark chocolate flavor, and then it starts bringing out like even more body. Damn. I'm gonna savor this. This is hella good. And it's, they call it a plain. Look, it's not even called like a dark chocolate bar. They literally call it a plain chocolate bar. Trenance in my eyes, this is not a plain chocolate bar. That is a very special chocolate bar. All right, let's try the milk chocolate bar now. I don't even, like, what, what do I expect from this one? Oh, the milk chocolate one was 55% uh, dark, it says right on. Tasted a lot darker. Well, richer. Richer? No, not richer. Just had more body, deep. Here's the milk chocolate bar.
delicious. No other words are needed. This handcrafted in Cornwall chocolate is delicious. Everything's freaking awesome. Guess I need to go to the UK, everybody. Maybe I'll have to go over there and try some of these awesome items. If everything tastes this good over there, well, damn. Walker's Monster Munch with a monster on it. It looks like they're feet flavored and this is roast beef flavored. Flavored baked corn snack. I'm thinking Walker's is like Lay's. The, the logos are too similar. Holy jump it. I've never smelled a potato chip that smelled like this before. Or, I should say, flour, flavor baked corn snack. Okay, so it looks like a foot. Like, kind of like a crown, but like a foot. Great crunch. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a beef bouillon. Like a, a beef broth kind of? Or like a, mm, delicious though. Like a, if you're like a Mr. Noodles beef, kind of like that, like a bouillon base. That's really good though. Great crunch on that, that texture. Oh, and here we have a Smith's Frazzles. Crispy bacon flavor. I do like a good bacon. And these are also flavor corn snacks. I'm used to bacon flavored chips smelling a little bit like like a one out of ten of bacon. This the, the, the I'm not gonna say it smells exactly like real bacon, but just how strong the smell is. Where have these things been all my life? I don't even like chips. These are hella good. Lynn, your food tastes great. Like where, I don't understand this. This is literally amazing. Guess I'm gonna have to go to the UK. Maybe, maybe. Let me know if you wanna see me over there. Um, the only thing, I think that's all the food items though. So now we have some pictures which were from Lynn's brother and her friend Ross. Damn. See, like I'll be honest. I don't know all that much about the UK, like in a way, like I mean, I kind of know the traditional stuff. All right, so here we have first picture, which is called St. Ives, taken by my brother. So we have a waterfront with some boats and houses on a beach. So I guess this is in Cornwall. Interesting, there's quite a, there's quite a bit of stone, like the houses look stone. What is this? This is crazy. Is this a castle? St. Michael's Mount, taken by my brother, Terry. Look at that. Dude, where do I get one of these? I think I need a, I might need to get myself one of these castles. That's awesome. I've, I've never really like, well, I've never seen like a, well I don't think I've seen like a castle a castle. I've seen like little things they call castles, but I've never seen a castle that I was like, holy jumpins. Whoa, what's this? This is called an old mining building. There are loads of these all over Cornwall. Taken by Ross. That's a nice picture. Thank you, Ross. Nice sunset look with these flowers there as well. So an old mining building, okay. With a big smokestack, I guess. Damn, this is cool. This is called a lovely sunset taken by my friend Ross. The place is called, I wanna say Godfrey, Godfrey. So sunset, looks like these are all little like rocks and I wanna say water. Like it's like a beach. Damn, that is really pretty though actually. Look at that, like a, the, the cliffs over there. All right, well I think that's everything. Lynn, thank you so much. I appreciate this Lynn's talk about sending me something and I'm so thankful to have this package. Um, so huge thanks to our friend Lynn for sending this over. Really, really, really appreciate it. Like for real, that's so cool. I'm so blessed everybody. I'm so thankful for you sending this stuff over. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the items are freaking fantastic. Uh, whew, like 
This so-called plain chocolate bar is not plain. I really like that. Like I'm not even, like they're not even gonna go back in this box. They're going right on, well, if I put them on my counter, I'm gonna eat them, but they're going right on my counter. Absolutely delicious. Loved it. These squares as well, the Prima stuff, delicious. This cherry thing literally just tastes just like the squares my mom makes, which is super cool. These fudges were great. And then, yeah, so clotted cream. So clotted cream is a thing. And it has like this smell. I don't know how to just, like, again, it smells like caramel, but the, then these cookies also have the clotted cream, which, although they kind of smell like cheese, it has the same scent. I don't want to say it smells like, like almost like, I don't know if it's a little fermented or something, like, almost, like it's a nice flavor. Um, yeah, the, the freaking, these Jelly Babies are freaking dope. I've never had that before. It was totally unexpected, like what they actually were like. I had no clue. Love the Bueno Bar, love the Yorkie. Here, I'm gonna look up clotted cream. Though. Like, I'm gonna Google the definition. Somebody asked, is clotted cream the same as whipped cream? Somebody says, while well, clotted cream might look similar to whipped cream, once you take a taste, you'll know the difference. Okay, that didn't answer my question. Oh, right, here we go. Clotted cream is a thick cream made indirectly by heating full cream cow's milk, using steam or a water bath, to leave it in shallow pans to slowly cool. During this time, the cream content rises to the surface and form clots. It forms an essential part of cream tea. So, interesting. So it's like heated up cream, so it clots. Look, there's like a little, it's like a average, it's showing like a little preview of video, but right there it's like, you can see those lumps. That's the clotted cream. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's damn good. I've just never had it before. So again, thank you so much, Lynn. Really appreciate it. This is awesome. I hope everything tastes like this in the UK. And uh, at that, I just want to thank you so much for joining everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. I love receiving packages. You guys are the best people ever. Like, I cannot, I'm so blessed to, uh, to be acquainted with all of you watching this video. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to still try to eat healthy with having all these delicious foods in the house. Anyway, thank you so much. Really appreciate that, everybody. Till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating.